Madam President, Madam Commissioner, violence against women in Mexico and Central America has in recent years reached dramatic proportions, with thousands of women having fallen victim to violent death, such death on many occasions having been extremely cruel in nature and often having been accompanied by sexual abuse and torture. Although in many cases the perpetrators of such atrocious crimes are sick-minded individuals, in many situations, organized criminal activity is very much involved and the implication of human trafficking, prostitution and drugs is largely in evidence. It is very sad that in Mexico and Central American countries, the functioning of the rule of law has in certain cases a lot to be desired, either because of real organizational deficiencies in the police and judiciary systems or because of some instances of corruption and impunity. The rapporteur, Mr. Romeva, is to be congratulated for making sure that this report is strong enough to send the necessary message to the governments of the concerned countries, but also to the world as a whole about the totally unacceptable high level of feminicides in the aforementioned states. The small number of final amendments, which incidentally have the rapporteur's full support, are useful and make this report more complete. My group fully supports all these amendments. It is hoped that this report will be voted by this House with a very large majority so as to give a very clear signal to all concerned that the problem of killing of women in Mexico and Central America, as indeed in other parts of the world, is a matter that should attract our full attention and necessitates the taking of very drastic and effective remedial measures. Thank you very much.